My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. Well, I say that this is just a little moment we could finally get back on, kind of get a little bit of extra work into the piece, and turns out some of these brushes, they kind of get a little mislaid here and there, but managed to take care of that for sure, I say. Now we're going to move things down a little bit, try to put a little bit of gray into this collie, and in between videos I did decide to trim down the ears a little bit, because I noticed in this picture I have over here that in the original the ears are just probably, I'd say, a little more trim than what you've seen before, so kind of get the extra work done along the dog and I say I say try to work something special along the way I mean it's always little interesting matters come up in our work I say probably see a place or two where We're going to touch up with a little black later, but this is the part that gets the gray for right now, and so try to make a little work of a statue in a little dog, I say, and I'll tell y'all that just a little work can mean so much. I tell you all of all things I get out and have in places. I'll share y'all little restaurant places I've been. Like there's a restaurant called Cinco de Mayo that is it's probably been around a while, but over in the Tate's Creek Shopping Center where there used to be a Ramsey's, they've set one up there in that same little facility been over there to eat a time or two and I'd say it was a good place one time I kinda went in and had some buffalo wings and you know it's kind of a different place because you know they don't really tell you on the menu that ranch comes with the buffalo wings or blue cheese or any of that but they have a way to provide it. They provide it for you like they just give you a little serving bowl with a little packet of salad dressing that you get and kind of have that and with the buffalo wings and had chips and salsa which is something that comes free with a meal on the same night and I'd say after having that Things got a little strange here and there because even with the combination of the two, that's like two really spicy things to eat and would say it kept me up during the night after kind of eating that combination of things can kind of give you vivid dreams and cause you to wake up so much and dreams can get a little stranger now and then I've had buddies in places different places at different times and all the little 
interesting things they've shared and interesting things I've learned all about all those old solicitation policies. I'll tell y'all that there's probably got to be some little things we can do in here. It's interesting how we kind of got this little pink bliss. It's kind of the type of pink that is almost like a purple, but it's just something new that I got because I was just out shopping for acrylic paints recently, having all the old ones I had getting all dried up. So, kind of try to use that to put a little touch up to the insides of the ears. I say, I say, oh, bright little days, you see? and try to kind of get a little of the pink into this other little bit of an ear as well. Try to work our way right into that. And with all little things, as far as how they come along, we say that this little Kali is just a kind of creature that they're just good, friendly dogs, and in one of my previous videos, I did some German Shepherd work, and I say there was a dog that was our neighbor's dog when we were kids. It was a half Shepherd, half Collie, and he was a pretty mean dog. We all had to watch out for him out there. I say that there's probably other little things we're going to come back and take care of later, but try to take a little break for right now and come back when this dries, maybe touch up with a little black. Well, come to tell y'all some, we just had a little bit of gray paint splash up here on the Collie's face a little while ago, and I just had to sand that off before getting on here to finish my demonstration, but for this little moment, I say that, um... Perhaps we'll get on, just kind of try to do a little more here, and I say that um, it's kind of just some work we're going to figure out here how we're going to do it, but I say, I say that um, up here, there's a place where we put in a little black, like, I say right below the ear, near the base of the head, and try to work that little bit of color right in, and I say that um, this is going to be the thing that it's going to show up, come down to when we just finish working our way and come down to where we make this place at the front below the chin and try to get that little bit of extra work right in. I say probably just took the paint a little too far there unfortunately but that's not the worst thing that ever happens in a project, not at all. I say it's just kind of a thing where we see how this is just kind of a common scope of an artwork for you and me, I tell you. And getting right down to things, I say, a little piece can make a little work come out to where it's going to matter in the end. I say that this is just one of the best pieces that 
comes along in detail and when it comes down to the dogs there's a lot of detail involved to kind of make it so it can just be a fancy little piece of work here I say I say that um we got this just doing just right like it ought to go and sometimes I say that there's probably a thing or two I might have to go back to the Google picture to figure out and make sure I'm doing right so this is about as much painting as goes into the collie and while I am at it probably got a little bit of ways to kind of add in a little piece or two and I say I say that um there's probably just kind of work we got in to this and put in just a little bit of gray because there's places where the paint kind of slacked off a little bit around the ears and we have to get it right into its own good little place back when the place where it belongs and kind of try to make a little ways to see how the artwork is just kind of a little going back over I say and for one thing I say the little bit of work is just the thing it needs to be and we're gonna try to fashion what we do a little more and come back and do a little more sometime later I say that this is just what work is called on for us and if all things I say we just enjoy a little work of art and it's just kind of what it comes down to I say and little interesting topics of things and come down with what we got now this is a moment when we can kind of put things away try to see what's left to do maybe next time we come on for a video we might do a little with the rotary tool it might be getting to the point where it'll be closer to time to do that and I say I say that just a little black shading in just kind of brightens up a little work in our lives and see how happy we be when we all get the work done with our hands and our tools and all the little details that we make and use and so I say that um this is just a fine little artwork and with little ways we do I say that we shall work harder make things happier bless a lot of folks with all our work and our intentions and all the ways we have of being creative about what we do there is much more to share much more to come and I say that when this black part of the paint dries off there's going to be a little extra to come along maybe some white touch-ups along where it didn't get thick but thank you all again for coming on for watching the video take care and stay safe thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.